to start. I've already brought in a Gridlines PNG image to my timeline. You can easily find one online or choose a design that fits your project. I've set its opacity to 15%, just to keep it subtle. Now let's add some motion to the grid line background. Click the stopwatch icon next to scale, move your playhead a few seconds forward and increase the scale value. Next grab the pen tool and draw a vertical line. In the effects control panel, disable the fill and set the stroke color to white. Let's set the stroke width 4. Now go back to the timeline, deselect, and then select your graphic layer again. Create a horizontal line. To animate the line, disable the uniform scale option and hit the stopwatch next to horizontal scale. Move the keyframe a few frames forward and set its value to zero. For a smoother animation, right-click the first keyframe, choose Ease Out, then adjust the second keyframe by dragging the handle to the left to get that curve in the speed and velocity line. We'll repeat this for the vertical line, but instead of modifying the horizontal scale, apply the keyframe to the vertical scale this time. The process is otherwise the same as before. Next, deselect your current layer, and using the rectangle tool, create the first bar. From the effect controls panel set its fill color to white. You can adjust the X and Y positions if needed. Now I want to scale it down. To animate, once again disable uniform scale, hit the stopwatch next to vertical scale, and move the keyframe a few frames forward before setting its value to zero. Click on shape to highlight on preview screen, then move the blue circle anchor point to the bottom center of the shape. Now set vertical scale value to zero. To keep the animation smooth, repeat the same keyframe adjustments as before. Position the playhead near where your curve line ends, then copy and paste the rectangle shape, and move the keyframes to match the new playhead position. Let's reposition the duplicated shape. Then increase the vertical scale value. Make sure your playhead is at the last keyframe of the animation. Now repeat this process, adjusting the position and scale of each bar. Don't forget to tweak the keyframes for all the animated bars. If things seem to fast, just increase the space between the keyframes for a slower effect. To complement the animated bar graph, let's add a curve line. Grab the pen tool again and click where you want the line to begin. I'm clicking just above the middle of the second bar. If you drag while clicking, you'll get a nice curve. We want a line though, so switch the fill to stroke. Continue placing points and dragging until you reach the end. Now select all three layers and open the effects panel. Search for the VR glow effect and drag it onto each layer. Then for the top layer, apply the linear wipe effect as well. In the effect controls panel, make sure to add the linear wipe effect first and then the VR glow effect. This order prevents GPU acceleration issues. To change the color of the curved line, set its stroke color to green, and in the VR Glow section, adjust the Luma threshold to 0, Glow radius to 45, and color brightness to 10. You can also tweak the VR Glow settings on the other two layers to achieve the look you want. Now let's animate the curved line, select the top layer again, and in the effect controls panel under linear wipe, set the wipe angle to 270 degrees, Click the stopwatch next to transition completion. Move the keyframe a few frames forward and set its value to 100%. If the curve animation isn't quite in sync with the bar graph animation, just adjust the spacing between the keyframes. Lastly, for that extra touch, let's add some sound effects to complete the project. And this is what you will end up with.